Hello everybody, uh, today I'm making this video to show everyone how I made my 4 inch template for my horizontal uh, wind turbines, basically my HOTS. And uh, I've had quite a few questions on uh, my blade design and stuff, so I thought it would just be easier to uh, make a video on how I did it, so that way everyone can see it. So this is uh, what I start out with. I just took a piece of poster board and have a straight line going across the bottom and that equals 24 inches uh, from from end to end and it's let's see 609.6 millimeters uh, going across there and if that millimeter is not quite correct that's what Google told me I didn't do the calculations myself but that's what Google said so Okay, and from the, the 24, on each end, I did a, a 90 degree, uh, you know, coming up there. So that 90 degree uh, from the top here is one and a quarter inch, or 31.75 millimeters. And that is the same on both sides. So this one is also a one and a quarter inch coming up. So... Uh, from your one and a quarter inch there, which is a 90, and you know, that's a 90, I went along and stopped at one, excuse me, seven and one eighth inch uh, from here to the one end, and that is 180.97500 millimeters. So from from the end here, I, you know, I went over and did another. At 90 straight up, and I went up a total of three and a quarter, excuse me, three and three quarter inch from the bottom to the peak here, and that is 95.25 millimeters. So I went up there and just connected those two together, um, you know, a, a straight line, well, yeah, straight line from there to there, and then connected this to the other end. And this run here uh, going down is 17 inches or 431.8 millimeters. So there we go. So that's basically the template. I always start with the template. That way you get uh, good consistency. Your blades will pretty much always be close unless uh, when you cut them, you know, you, you kind of mess up. But... Uh, it's always good to start with something like that and uh, make it something that's a little thicker. If it's real thin paper, it's going to rip and won't be very durable, but do something a little thicker and, and that should work. So, uh, basically, I uh, would go ahead and lay this down. This this piece right here is a 4-inch PVC, and this is my 3-inch PVC. I have used this template for both sizes. And uh, I've had good success with uh, both the four and the three. So what you would do, well, we'll just use the three for example here. Go ahead, lay that flat, and go ahead and uh, grab a marker, and go ahead and just trace out. I'll make sure it's level. Okay, go ahead and trace out your template there. And if you're looking for the double bladed one which I did in a couple of my uh, videos. There's the double bladed one. When you get to uh, finish the one side, just take this and flip it over on that side. So you're gonna have uh, one going down and one going up. And just make sure uh, you connect them square in the middle there. So that one would be there and that would be there. So go ahead and draw that out and then basically you're gonna let's see, yeah, you're gonna see that laying there. So then take whatever uh, means you have of cutting this out. I like a jigsaw. It seems to work uh, really well for me anyway. It's nice and quick. It uh, cuts real easy through the PVC. So go ahead and cut that out you know, along there. Okay, then you're gonna have basically uh, this but it's going to have blunt edges so on the top of your template here 
All of this you're going to want to round off and which is what you get here. It's a nice and smooth. I use a hand sander or you could use sandpaper. It might take you a little longer but uh, you want a nice smooth edge on here and uh, do that on both both the tops. And on the, the bottom here you want a nice uh, I think a beveled edge might be a good word to describe it or a nice nice uh, I think beveled edge is a good description. So go ahead and what I use, because I don't have any other tools, but I've seen people use uh, planers, angle grinders, um, you could do it by hand, that would probably take quite a while. But I use a belt sander, I just take my belt sander, flip it upside down, make sure it's not going to go anywhere, and just kind of run it along there until I, I get my, my edge that I'm looking for. So you're going to want the edge on the bottom there and back on there so that'll give you your uh, two uh, two bladed uh, wind turbine blade and if you like you can just put another one uh, going that way so then you have your, your four blades going and the only reason why I drilled a hole in the middle here which could help you or hurt you the motor that I attached it to had a bolt right in the center so when I attached it um, that's how I fastened it to the motor then had a couple other bolts stick it in there but this in the center really weakened it a lot so if you can avoid uh, putting that in there and being able to attach these to your motor or your generator a different way it probably be advisable because uh, that really did weaken it and in one of my turbines that I use this in it did snap right there actually so um, it definitely uh, could be a good application for some but in this case it uh, made it real vulnerable right there so okay I hope that helps everybody out and if you're looking for exact dimensions you may just want to pause the part and uh, you know, write all that down but start with a good uh, template this uh, it really helps a lot have some consistency when you're doing these kind of projects. So, okay. Thank you for watching as always. Take care and God bless.